Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Naman and I'm a third year neuroscience student at the University of Toronto, just like my friends here Nimit and Rusal. Thanks for all the support you've been providing us with, we really appreciate it. It has almost been three years since we started university at the U of T um, uh, Scarborough campus and we feel we have nailed down how to maximize your GPA. So we created this video to share tips and tricks we learned along the way and we really hope it helps you. Before we get started, let's talk about some of the misconceptions and myths about U of T. Some say it's impossible to maintain a high GPA. Others say your marks are bell curved, so you can't even control it. But are these myths actually true? No, they're not. It's actually very possible to succeed academically at U of T and get that esteemed 4.0 we're all looking for. Your marks are rarely bell curved, but there are some facts about U of T that we talked about in our 11 things I wish I knew before I came to U of T video that you need to check out. In this video, we'll tell you exactly what you need to do to achieve all your goals at U of T. We'll be introducing the MedBoys 5 Tips to Success. Let's get started. From our experience, learning by teaching is the fastest and most effective way to learn. If you're finding a topic difficult, call a friend who has no idea what it is and explain it to them. This way, you will learn this topic in the simplest way possible, which will ensure you understand it on a fundamental level. This tip is also perfect when you're studying for the MCAT. Check out some of the other tips we have in our other play uh, videos in the Conquering the MCAT playlist. We've learned about this tip the hard way, unfortunately. Whenever you have to complete an assignment that's even a little subjective, such as an essay, blog, or presentation, talk to your professor or TA in advance. Every professor and TA has their own marking style and expectations. So it's better to clear this up with them before you hand in the assignment in rather than later. Last year when I was doing an essay for my philosophy class, I thought I'd written a very good piece for my assignment. However, I ended up getting a 70 on the essay, which was, a, which was huge considering the assignment was with 25%. When I talked to the TA about my mark, I learned there were so many expectations they had not communicated to us, and there was no way I would have known how to write the essay in the way they wanted. From then on, I made it a point to have a brief conversation with the TA about the assignment prior to the deadline. Tip number three. For review, use past exams and practice questions instead of passively reviewing the content. This is important because active learning has been proven to be much more effective in recall of content in comparison to passive learning. Although past exams are hard to find, your professor may be able to provi provide you with some. In addition, try looking for your university's exam repository as it may have the exams you're looking for. Tip number four, find friends in your program that you have classes with. Before that pandemic, there would have been so many professors that would not post recordings of their lectures. So if you missed their class, tough luck, you missed the information you need for the exam. This is where having a friend or a group of friends helps as you can ask them for their notes or maybe even a recording of the lecture if they have one. Finally, try to participate in other activities to get your mind off of school so it can remain fresh and you can avoid burnout. Join your university intramural teams, go to the gym, hang out with your friends, whatever it may be. Use it as a getaway from school and then approach your work with a positive mindset. This way, you'll remain motivated and get that 4.0 you're looking for. That brings us to the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you learned something and drop a comment below if you have any questions. If you want personalized guidance, we can look over your email and resume for free. Just send us an email or comment below. Don't forget to check out our U of T playlist and the Conquering the MCAT playlist. See you guys in the next one.